Have you ever wanted a sewing that looks way more natural than an invisible part or a lace closure? Well, today I'm doing a tutorial on how to do a crochet sewing using a bobby pin. So I bought three bundles of Mongolian Kinky Curly hair. I got 26, 28, and 30 inches. I bought the hair from a vendor on AliExpress. I was kind of skeptical being the fact that it was cheap and online, but it really turned out kind of awesome. I'll put the vendor's name in the description box for anybody that's interested. As far as the hair, it came pretty fast, but you would have to request it to get it sooner. I received my hair within two weeks, I think. The hair doesn't come combed out, so you would need to open the bundles before any combing of sort. Make sure whenever you're combing or brushing, you start from the bottom and work your way up. You don't want any tangling or shedding. Then I applied a weft sealer that I got from the beauty supply store onto the wefts of the hair to decrease shedding and tangling. Oh yeah, by the way, please excuse the white parts on the wefts. I forgot I put weft sealer and washed it and it just turned white. So make sure you wash before you apply the weft sealer. I co-wash the hair two days in advance before my install and I let it air dry. Please no heat. First you're going to braid your hair back into cornrows. Your braid pattern is very important so please keep in mind don't braid too tight so your bobby pin can fit under the braids. Sew the back part up and start your sewing. Then you start to sew the Mongolian kinky curly hair to your braids. So starting from the bottom, then sew horizontal from ear to ear. Once you have made your way halfway, crochet the corners of your braids for a more natural look. You open the bobby pin, then put it under your braid. Then put one strand of the free tris bohemian hair in the pin and pull it through with the pin. Put the other side in the loop and pull, then make a knot. Do this process for all your front area. As a final result, you'll be able to have a middle part and a side part. Doesn't it look so natural? I just love how it looks. It just it just lays better, it looks nice, it, it makes the hair just look so, like it's just, this thing is growing from my scalp. <sighs> now it's time to brush it out. Section your hair before brushing, brush from the bottom and work your way up. Use your hands to play with it and um, trim the ends, you know, make sure you trim your hair or add layers to your desired looks. 
this is the final results. I love how it feels. I love the texture of the hair. No shedding whatsoever. And the features hair blends so well. You would have thought I had four bundles of this. The hair is kind of big, but I'll cut as I go on. And this is my tutorial on how to do crochet sewing and using a bobby pin. I hope you like. Uh, 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 uh.